Good morning, Hopkinsville. Good morning, Christian County. It is a beautiful day, and I hope that you're ready to serve Christ, our Savior, this Tuesday. Now, I want to share with you a word of encouragement to stop ignoring the things you need to address. Over in Deuteronomy in chapter 22, we find in the Word of God that God gives a command to the people of Israel. His statement is very, very simple. He says, if you see a fellow Israelite's ox or sheep straying, do not ignore it, but be sure to take it back to its owner. If they do not live near you or you do not know who owns it, take it home with you and and keep it until they come looking for it. Then give it back. Do the same if you find their donkey or cloak or anything else that they have lost. Do not ignore it. If you see your fellow Israelites, donkey or an ox fallen on the road, do not ignore it. Help the owner get it to it, get it to its feet. Now, when you and I read that passage, it's very, very simple. God is saying you and I have a tendency to be apathetic and to ignore things that we don't want to address. We have a tendency to not help others that we actually see in need. You say, no, 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 that's that's not me at all. Well, think back through your busy schedule. Think back through your hustle and bustle over the last week or two weeks. Maybe there was somebody you saw at the store, you didn't take the time to talk to them. Maybe there was somebody that you saw at the restaurant, but you didn't take the time to talk to them. Maybe there was somebody you saw at church and you said, how are you doing? And their answer didn't come back ringing really true, but you didn't take time to talk with them. You know, every one of us only has 24 hours, 24 hours every day. And in that 24 hours, we're supposed to do everything that God asks. We are not to ignore those that are in need. In our country today, there's a lot of risk in helping others. There's a lot of risk in stopping on the roadside to help somebody who's broken down. There's a lot of risk in speaking truth to an individual who needs to hear truth spoken to them. There is a lot of risk in not ignoring what's going on around you. But we don't have an option. You and me, as followers of Christ, you and me, as children of God, we don't have an option. Even when no one would know, because no one was around, when that sheep was noticed, or that ox was noticed, or that cloak was on the road, we could walk past it, we could leave it be, we could say, ah, somebody else will find it. But God says, don't ignore it. We are here to help one another, to assist one another, to be a blessing to one another. And that is our call for today. You've only got 24 hours, friend. So let's make the very best of it. As always, I'll look forward to working beside you and look forward to seeing you right here at Second Baptist Church.